This is why Hillary Clinton will never be president. Howdy gang, this was not the way that Hillary Clinton imagined things would work out. She was supposed to win in 2008, maintaining the rhythm of the list of presidents, you know, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Clinton. Then she would have brought the 90s back, except for grunge. She would not have brought back grunge or America Online. That shit stays too. And then in 2016, she would have campaigned for Vice President Obama, who would still have his black hair intact. But instead, the prophecy did not come to pass. To properly understand how Hillary supporters felt after 2008, Obi-Wan Kenobi puts it best. You were the chosen one! It was said that you would destroy Barack Obama. Not join them! Bring balance to the budget. Not leave it in darkness! Instead, she accepted the cabinet position of Secretary of State, enjoying high approval ratings for most of her tenure. So, Obama gets to be president, but Hillary Clinton gets to end her distinguished career on a high note. So, uh, I guess that's it, right? 68 years old, career's wrapped up, we can move on. Wait a minute. Inspiring clips of hardworking families, and ethnically diverse ones at that, a pregnant woman signifying hope for the future, the Spanish language, gays, olds, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid this level of systematic token diversity in such a short span of time can only mean one thing. I'm getting ready to do something too. I'm running for president. First of all, way to make everyone else look bad. I'm starting a small business. I'm having a baby. Oh yeah? Well, I'm running for president, motherfuckers. Top that. Secondly, Hillary, you don't need this. You've already been the president's number one advisor, a senator, and the secretary of state. You running for president is like a high school junior who's already taking seven AP classes and volunteering in a soup kitchen three times a week being like, oh yeah, I can run the National Honor Society and the newspaper and the juggling club. Maybe then I'll feel like I've accomplished something. No, Hillary, you are enough. And besides, do you really want to do this all over again and re, 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 reintroduce yourself to the American people? I mean, you're going to have to talk to every corn farmer in Iowa. <laughs> Hello, Iowa! I'm back! And pretend to have a southern accent while you're in South Carolina. I am running to live again at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, but I don't want to be there all by myself. And be forced to dance to the sounds of torture on Ellen. <laughs> and then, Mrs. Brett, you can sign a bill, yeah. and then you die. Yeah. Oh. She seems to have no problem doing any of those things. I guess she's in to win. Seemingly nothing at this point will stop her from getting what she wants. With 13 days to go, it's Hillary Clinton's nightmare scenario. The possibility that Bernie Sanders' youth brigade could topple her in Iowa. Wait a minute, Bernie Sanders? Democratic Socialist Bernie Sanders? Top 1% of the 1% of the big banks Bernie Sanders is leading in some places? That wasn't part of the plan. Okay, no, it's fine. A little healthy competition. Hillary didn't want a coronation anyway. So uh, let's take a look at the issues. We know that Bernie Sanders supports universal health care, free college, financial regulation, and for his grandchildren to visit him every once in a while. So what's Hillary Clinton's platform? Hillary Clinton, how would you not be a third term of President Obama? Well, I think that's pretty obvious. Um, I, I think being the first woman president would be quite a change from the presidents we've had up until this point, including uh, President Obama. Hillary, we know you're a woman. Many Democrats already want you to be the first female president. You don't have to keep bringing it up. There aren't any swing voters out there who are going to be like, you know, I wasn't sure about this Hillary Clinton person before, but she made a pretty good point about that uterus thing. This is not how you win an election. Barack Obama didn't go around the country being like, hey, everybody, did you know I'm black? First black president. It'll be fun. You know why I didn't have to do that? Because say what you want about the American people, but we are very good at being able to tell if someone is black or a woman. It's like a sixth sense we have. I call it vision. Okay, so clearly ovary mongering isn't going to work. Let's see if a direct attack against Senator Sanders will. And President Obama has led our country out of the Great Recession. Senator Sanders called him weak disappointing? No, I'd say Bernie Sanders' face pretty accurately reflects the effectiveness of that tactic. 
But what was Hillary supposed to do? Not fight back after Bernie Sanders crushed her on that whole email server scandal? The American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. Thank you. Me too. Me too. <laughs> you know? Oh, so not attacking your opponents and focusing on the issues works? Sorry, I just have to recalibrate my brain after making 16 videos about the race for the Republican nomination. Okay, so I'm talking about the Democrats, so issues do matter. Got it. Anyway, Hillary's still the favorite to get the Democratic nomination, but it really shouldn't be this hard for her. After all, she started off with such a massive advantage, and that's why there are only three candidates left running. Although, who is that guy again? Uh, Melvin O'Mooney, governor of Minnesota? Uh, Malcolm O'Reilly? Anyway, there are literally two candidates running for the Democratic nomination. And if Hillary can't win in a landslide against a socialist who looks like he's constantly about to ask for more applesauce with his latkes so it's more easy to chew, then how is she supposed to defeat a political mastermind? L let me just tell you, I may win, I may not win. Hillary, that's not a president. Sorry, Hillary. Perhaps third time's the charm. Just pick yourself up and reinvent yourself again. Maybe the American people will be ready for you after that. Hillary 2024? No! This has been why Hillary Clinton will never be president. You nosedived down to the floor, grabbed a tiny water bottle, maintained eye contact with the camera, kept looking back and forth as if to say, do you think the American people are noticing this right now? And then nosedived back down to put the water bottle back.